Samba TV is a San Francisco-based company that tracks viewing behavior on a second-by-second -second basis to see what triggers and holds people's attention. And the people at Samba TV were keeping a very close eye on Super Bowl 51 down to the second, including when people tuned in, when they changed the channel, and the part of the game that had the most viewers. Joining us now in studio this morning, Samba TV co-founder Alvir Naveen. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Thanks for having uh, me. So I was explaining to my son during the third quarter what a blowout was, <laughs> and then that quickly shared what part of the game did was the highest percentage was it indeed overtime there? it was q4 into overtime q4 was definitely into overtime. the highest, highest point as you would expect so people did people come back did they hear oh my gosh this is turning into a game did people leave what happened there? so we just saw viewership continue to grow throughout the course of the game so assuming you know things were very active on social media people just started tuning in more and more and but more but is that standard in previous super bowls where um, it just grows throughout the game you know last year um, last year viewership was pretty steady and this year it just ended up just ramping towards the uh towards the Q4 and overtime since it was so historic. Let's talk about commercials. Which ones sure. got the, the the highest retention? Which ones got the tune out? Yeah, so um, uh, you know what we saw was that uh, retention, uh, retention and engagement over uh, the Q4 and um, overtime just showed the highest rate of um, uh, engagement. So uh, Sprite, um, uh, Sprite's LeBron ad, I think that was number one. Um, uh, the um, uh, the Alfa Romeo, the Alfa Romeo ad was number two. That was not the. I mean, I will never in my life be able to afford an Alfa Romeo, but but it hit some notes with me. Yeah, it was beautiful. You have a little ad. kid jumping off the bed. It's like they were speaking to me. That's right. So That's does right. it matter when they hit those emotional chords, even though I'll never shell out the money for the product? Yeah, well, um, I think it's amazing from an awareness standpoint, right? So you know, we don't get in the, uh, we're not in the business of determining strategy and 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 all of those types of things for the brands. But in terms of pure engagement, in terms of pure. Um, uh, I guess kind of pure awareness. You're never going to find a bigger event than the Super Bowl. Your, your clients will obviously use this data and say, wow, this my commercial was a tune-out. And yeah. then they'll, I mean, what, what do your clients say to you when they find out either good or bad information about their ads? Yeah, um, well, it's all in education. Right, it's all about education. So being able to hit your users, be able to hit your audiences more effectively. What Samba does is help brands and agencies kind of figure out who those um, uh, who those people are, and then help them engage with them progressively. On Friday, I brought in um, on the studio we, the Samsung VR. Yeah, I'm curious how that did. Was there any? It was uh, top five. It was top, top five. five for the uh, entire. Um, uh, all the commercial spots. Are you so, surprised by that, or is that just because of the 24 and the name is I attached it was, to it? it? Placement, you know, where it where it actually aired towards the end of the uh, end of the game. I think um, that was uh, uh, that was due for uh, that was due for high ratings. I thought the show actually was fantastic too. Yeah. Um, top watch play. There was a lot of big plays down the stretch. <laughs> it was the uh, Brady Edelman catch. The Brady the Edelman catch. That yeah. was incredible. He that caught it. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, yeah. he didn't. Um, I was wondering if that was the top play because the Patriots won because you know that Julio Jones play on the sideline I mean if they wound up winning the game it was an amazing play as well but yeah I mean, because they won the game that that maybe took the top spot and I'm not sure that it was actually the top spot but it was definitely a catalyst for the rest okay. of the game got it can you hey. talk about some tune out moments uh, either for the game or the commercials um, yeah so we actually saw pretty low engagement towards the first half of the game okay. um, and that was primarily just because everybody so thought it was going to be yeah everybody thought it was going to be a blowout and, so. and for the Super Bowl, there's an interesting phenomenon because most of the time when we're watching a football game, the commercial is our cue to get up and go to the bathroom That's or right. go get a beer or whatever. But this time, people stick around. Absolutely. And, and they don't go. Uh, that's is that a Super Bowl only thing? Um, it's very it's very Super Bowl specific. It's very Super Bowl specific. So you know naturally you would assume that people are going to tune out during commercials, and that's traditionally what happens during the Super Bowl. You have this this rare case where people actually stick around and actually are almost more enthusiastic by the commercials mm -hmm. than sometimes. Because people the are going to be talking about them the next day. They want right. to see them. Right? But right. does it really matter who lands on the top five commercials list, or does what really matter is who buys more Alfa Romeos or more Sprite? It just depends mm -hmm. on what the brand message is, right? So Alfa Romeo is probably not going to reach out to the mass audience, assuming that everybody's going to be able to afford their their car, but they might be very, very interested in the fact that um, you have a ton of eyeballs and they're launching a new initiative and they just want people to know. Okay, well, but we don't actually get into the, uh, we yeah, actually don't get into that. Well, yeah, they have right. my goodwill, so. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and that's priceless. All right, Alvira Naveen of Samba Thanks, TV. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you.